Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new campaign video let's play for Railroad Tycoon 3. We're on the second of the futuristic scenarios, which is also the penultimate scenario for the campaign. Uh, it's Dutch Atlantis, and the premise of this scenario is basically that uh, sometime in the early 21st century, uh, global warming meant that the sea level rose and a lot of land has been destroyed and the world is kind of vastly different to what we know it today. Similar sort of premise to that of Greenland, uh, except in this one we're in Europe and we need to essentially create a sort of modern transportation system in New Europe, uh, in the new country of Dutch Lantis, which is basically a lot of old, or modern day, Northern Europe. Uh, it's quite funny to think that this scenario only takes place about six months, not even that, from when this video is being recorded. Uh, the Dutch are an industrious group, and the Dutch Lantis project was no small wonder. Reclaiming much of the north of Europe was step one. Step two was making it all work. What the Dutch Lantians need from you is to get the country up and operating profitably. You'll need to get this new country connected to old world resources as quickly as possible. Bronze. Connect the nation of Dutch Lantis, which is this big block of land here, uh, that's all one state, territory, country, uh, Dutch Lantis, to the city of Munich, which is approximately here, some somewhere around here, uh, in the newly founded country of Germania before 2051. So we don't actually get very long. We only have 25, 26 years. Um, yeah, 26 years beginning of 25 to the end of 2050. Silver, connect the nation of Dutch Lantis to the city of Munich and the new capital of Camelot in Britain. Yeah, so uh, Britain's new capital is no longer London, or indeed New London is now Camelot. Um, which you can see straight away that that requires a giant tunnel or suspension bridge over the North Sea. Um, I, I, yeah, it's been a long time since I played this scenario. It's a bit silly um, with regards to, like, you know, this is supposed to be less than six months in the future from now. Uh, but I imagine that even when this game was made back in 2003, the creators probably thought, yeah, this is a bit unrealistic and a bit silly. Um, and gold, we need to connect Dutch Lantis to Munich in Germania and Camelot in Britain, and have hauled at least ten loads of uranium from Britain to Dutch Lantis all before 2051. Special conditions, you can't lay unconnected track, you can't start multiple companies. Um, so we don't have to worry about personal net worth, which is good. We are the only person, uh, we are Clement Attlee, which is a bit weird, because he was the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom in 1945, so he's long dead. But anyway, I suppose all these people in this game are dead by now. Um, I don't think there's any that are still alive. So, we don't have to worry about personal net worth, that's fine. There's no AI. Um, we can't build unconnected track, but we can build, you know, industries, bonds, issue stock, blah, 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 blah. Um, so, we need to create a company, obviously. And I don't know what I want for the uh, company logo. Company name, less important. Well, not less important, but... Uh, It could be that, which is Deutsche Bundesbahn, and pretend it's like Dutch Lantis Bundesbahn, which would be quite funny. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. What do I want for the company logo and company name? Company name will be pretty self explanatory, it's just going to be like Dutch Lantis Railroad. The logo, I don't really know. I'm kind of hoping there's something Dutch related, but. I don't really know what is Dutch related, besides cheese. I don't think there's a logo that's just some cheese. Um, I guess it's not too important, we'll just be uh, Dutch Lantis Railroad, if I can spell. Dutch Lantis National Railroad. There you go. Dutch Lantis National Railway DB. And we start with 1.65 million. Right. 
Government of Dutch Land says will only subsidise one mode of transportation. They will lower the cost of electric track by 30% or lower the cost of diesel fuel by 30%. Which will it be? So, we're in the future. Uh, we're probably going to want to build a lot of electric trains and maybe some diesels. Uh, it sounds like we can use either one. But electric track can get very expensive, so we'll go for electric. Attention, your company has a benefactor, Camelot Uranium. It's their desire to control the uranium market in New Europe. With your help and this $1 million grant, they expect they'll see this dream become a reality. In this brave new world, there is only one place to ca get Camelot Uranium. That's in Britain, so go there or do not. There is no try. Fair enough. So we actually start with 2.64 million. And I'm going to save the game. Dutch Lantis LP hard. Right, so we start with 2.64 million. We don't have any falling requirements, we just simply have to connect Dutch Lantis, which is this giant territory here, um, everything north of Trinkwasser. So a lot of these cities will be probably made up, or based on real cities but with new names. Some of them might just be completely made up, like um, if you go to Britain, you've got Sheffield, which is a real place. Camelot is not a real place. Williger, I have no idea what that's based on. Oxford is real, and then New London is obviously just London. And they are actually roughly in the right place. Um, you know, London in the southeast, then Oxford over there, then Sheffield even further north. And then if you come to Dutch Lantis, then you've got Brussels, Maastricht, Aachen, Dusseldorf, Hanover, uh, Groningen. I'm guessing Imusterdam must be Amsterdam. Arnhem Nogmaals, I'm guessing, is just Arnhem. Nugmals, I don't know what that means, but, um, and forgive my poor pronunciation, you know, as always. Erfurt, Leipzig, Dresden, those are real places. New Frankfurt, that's uh, interesting. New Berlin, Schwerin, Hamburg, Kiel, Rostock, they're all real places that haven't been affected, it seems. Um, but then you've also got places like Wurtegebirte, I don't know what that is, and, uh, no profundement. I yeah, I don't know what some of these places are. Handy crab. Um, and then you come to the new territory of Germania, um, which has Basel, Zurich, which are real places in Switzerland. Um, Nuk einmal Uberwasser, Ulm and the Sea. There's probably some like Easter eggs and jokes here, but I don't. I mean, Uberwasser is like over water. Nok Einmal, I think, is. Um, not once, maybe. Uh, Memmingen, I think, is a real place. Munich and Weg von Wasser. Um, I don't know what that means. Wasser is obviously water. Slokovia um, sounds very similar to sort of Slovakia. Drink Wasser is just drink water. So. And then Bay of Slova Slovakia. Slovakia and Slokovia. Yeah, I think Slovakia has kind of just been taken over. Um, and then Lukov. So anyway, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a silly um, a silly map. Right, we don't need a dividend. We don't need a personal net worth. We can issue bonds to declare bankruptcy. We can do all this normal stuff. We can't buy any shares because our share price starts at $82, blah, blah, blah. But we're not bothered about personal net worth, so we don't really need to buy shares anyway. And we can issue stock whenever we need to. Um, in terms of where to start, let's look at cargo. So, straight away, New Berlin and Würzihund. Is that going to be... Where is the dog in pseudo-German? Because it's kind of like... Well, like it's kind of like, Wer ist die Hund? <laughs> it's like, where is the dog? But then, Wer ist... Wer ist... The hunt would be where, like, who is the dog in German? Where is the hunt? So it kind of where is the hunt? <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I mean, there's not actually a great deal of cargo around, um, particularly anywhere. And to connect Dutch Lantis, which we start, we, st we could get to Germania for half a million, but we don't want to do that right away. I think we start Dutch Lantis and establish that up. But to actually get from Dutch Lantis to Munich, the quickest way 
We are going to need a suspension bridge no matter what, and we're probably going to have to build it from Veg von Vassa over to Chervitz, unless we build over the Bavarian Sea. Um, but I mean, the quickest way to be would be to go Erfurt, Trinkwasser, Chervitz, Munich. But that's going to be quite expensive to build a suspension bridge like that. Um, so I think we'll just establish ourselves in uh, Dutch Lantis for starters. So New Berlin, there's quite a bit of cargo there. There's a textile mill that's actually making a lot of money. Is there any cotton nearby? No. Is there wool nearby? There's some. Clothing... Yeah, not really much. Um, und Vorkuren. Steel? Not really much steel. Tyres? No. Also, of no, because it's the future, um, there's a lot of uh, cargoes and products available that aren't otherwise available, like plastic, um, waste, uranium, you know, things that only really become available in about the 1950s onwards. And then obviously you get all the things that are normally available, like alcohol, clothing, goods, grain, lumber, logs, blah blah blah. But because it's the future, there's a lot more available than there otherwise would be. Uh, Schwerin has a very profitable cheese uh, dairy processor, and there are a lot of dairy farms around. Um, cheap cheese over in Würzigund and Prussische. Was? Prussische Dreieck. Was? Was ist das? Ich verstehe das nicht. Uh, yeah, was is das? Ich, ich weiß nicht. Um, forgive me, every now and then I'm just going to go into pseudo-German. Um, but there are quite a lot of cities nearby here that we can probably connect, and they might be alright. So I reckon maybe like Würzigund, New Berlin, and then centre ourselves around there. I do know, although it's, not been, it's been a long time since I've played this map, but I do know that there is a bonus for delivering cheese. Because obviously, it's the Dutch, they like their cheese. Clearly. Um, so I think we'll save again, and then maybe start with like New Berlin, Wurzelwund, and then just kind of go from there. Um, in terms of trains and track, I don't really know what trains we're going to have available. Um, but I've built a station now, so... There's a heck of a lot of milk here and some cheese, which we pull for a decent profit. Wow, okay, Rostock actually has incredibly cheap cheese for some reason. Cheese over in Rostock is $339. Cheese over in Veritzifund, or New Berlin, eh. It's actually not as, okay, it's not as profitable as I thought it was. It's a bit misleading, that. Wait, what? It says mine... Okay. For some reason it's zero dollars right there. Um, yeah, it's a bit misleading, that. But I reckon we'll start in round New Berlin and maybe just kind of connect up with these cities. In terms of trains, right. We can't get the Dorchester, I'm sad to say, because uh, we've had that in every other scenario, but that does make sense. So we've got 1966 Class EF Electric, um, I think a lot of these trains are probably going to be expensive, but pretty good. Um, so this is alright. Um, cheap to buy, cheap to maintain. Decent stats. Only 48 miles an hour when pulling the train. VLATT. Uh, again, you know, good stats. Similar speed. Acceptable for passengers. Electric. Uh, RE66, blah blah blah. Yeah, because a lot of these trains I've never really seen before. That is good on hills and pretty fast. Um, although fairly average by, you know, future standards. Quite expensive to maintain, but cheap to buy. Class 132. Uh, cheap to buy. Very cheap to buy, actually. Uh, very good on hills, actually, and pretty fast, although not very good for passengers. Decent stats, and actually still, like, pretty fast. 
I actually remember this train and I do kind of know that this is actually like a really good train. Um, HST125, that is expensive to buy but pretty standard for modern standards. Fast but not really when hauling trains, terrible on hills, very expensive to maintain but very good stats and passengers like it. Eurostar is, I think, a mod, actually, yeah. Um, very expensive to buy, expensive to maintain, very good stats, very fast, terrible on hills. Trans-Euro, um, actually cheaper to buy than the Eurostar, and faster, and slightly about the same on hills. Um, it looks slightly worse for passengers. Slightly worse fuel economy. Slightly worse on reliability and acceleration. Um, and then we get the two really good trains. Uh, the E88, which is electric. Very good stats. Very good for passengers. Um, expensive to buy. Quite expensive to maintain. It's actually not... Well, if these stats are to be believed, it's not that fast when pulling the full train, but this this can still do like 200 miles an hour pulling the full train. It's not very good on hills. And then the uh, DD-080X, which is the train that we actually had in uh, Greenland. Extremely cheap to maintain, very expensive to buy. It's as expensive to buy as a Eurostar. Um, but in actual fact, it basically makes the Eurostar redundant. It's not as... Good, not as high acceleration, but it's near perfect reliability, very cheap to maintain, not as good on the fuel economy, and it's very good on hills. But saying that, I think this map is fairly flat, because you look around, there's not really a lot of gradients. The only gradient, well, hmm, okay, there's a few hills here and there, and then uh, Germania's a bit hilly, and then, um, you know, you'll notice that there's a giant cliff face all along the border of Dutch Lantis. Um, and, in fact, kind of the same with Britain. So, we're probably not going to have too many gradients, but I think electric track is probably the way to go. Although, right now, I reckon that unless we get a load of passengers, whilst we're just get setting ourselves up, I think the Class 132 will be fine. Because it's cheap-ish to maintain, it's cheap to buy, it's still fast and it's good on hills, and it's actually got decent stats. Passengers might not like it, but who cares, if we're not dealing with passengers. Um, so, yeah. Wurzihund to New Berlin, coming up. Like I said, I have played this scenario in the past, and I'm pretty sure I got gold in the past. Uh, but it's been a long time since I've played it. Also, do I want the track to go like that, or do I want it more central? I reckon that'll probably be alright. Yeah. So, Wurzi, Hund, New Berlin, and then we'll go up to Hamburg, Schwerin, and connect up all these places. We are going to need maintenance and service, even though we're running with diesels and electrics, but we don't have to worry about water, because there's no steam. Also, interestingly, we can't get the Red Devil. Um... The Red Devil is a steam train that becomes available about 1980, and then it generally, I think, becomes available until forever. So, like, you know, once you have it, you have it forever. It never becomes obsolete, and you can't get it anymore. Uh, the Red Devil's actually pretty good, but it, from memory, it's quite expensive to maintain and quite expensive to buy. Passengers really like it. I don't know how it is on hills, but I think it's got about 100 mile an hour top speed. It's basically just so that you can have steam trains into the future, but it's possibly not the greatest. Also, Antwerkerin has not got any cargo, really. New Berlin, there's some wool, but we can't really deliver it anywhere. Clothes we can ship over to Wurzihund. Uh, passengers actually want to go from New Berlin to Antwerkerin. Uh, milk, can't actually deliver that anywhere. Produce barely any. Fertiliser we can deliver to Antwerkerin from Wurzihund. And then cheese, yeah, not really. So Wurzihund... Um, 
Yeah, we can deliver fertilizer over to New Berlin and Unvorkeren, and then cheese to either one for a profit. But right now we don't really have much in the way of markets and haulage capabilities for profit. Schwerin and Hamburg, and then maybe Wiedergetragen. Probably we do actually want to issue stock and they would take out a bond as well. Um, but I think we just kind of need to get the network set up right now. So, Hamburg will need a large station. And then Schwerin... Yeah, that's going to need a large station. And then... So, Hamburg has waste, which we can't actually deliver anywhere. There's alcohol we can ship to anywhere, because it's $15 everywhere. Cheese. Uh, again, Verzi Hund has cheap cheese we can ship for a profit. Milk. If there's milk in Onvokeren, we can... Hmm. Yeah, there's not really milk in Onvokeren. I was going to say we can ship that for a profit. And then produce Hamburg Verzi Hund. I've got to say, there's not really a great deal of cargo we can ship, even just in these four cities. A bit disappointing, really. Uh, but Rostock, Rostock might have a little bit. There's also uh, Prusish Dreihek, although that will require a bridge. And as for bridges, we want um, an iron bridge. But I think we'll connect up to Rostock. And then, once we've got the station going there, we'll uh, get some trains going. Right, so Rostock... Rostock to Schwerin. There's some passengers we can ship back and forth. Verzi Hund. Hmm. It's a bit, it's a bit difficult, this, actually, because there's not a great deal of stuff that we can ship for a profit. Unfortunately. Rostock to Verzi Hund would be quite good. New Berlin. Actually, New Berlin to Hamburg would be quite good, maybe. It still needs to be like one load of clothing. Or maybe two loads of clothing. It wouldn't be that profitable. Just wondering, what about Kiel? Because Hmm. Check out Bond and issue stock. Does Keel have anything? It's not actually terribly successful there, so I thought there might be a bit more cargo, but no. Because we're connecting all these cities, but there's not, not, not a great deal of cargo that we can deliver for a profit. Right, Keel actually has quite a bit of alcohol. Um that we can deliver to, I don't know, maybe like New Berlin. Produce, if there's produce anywhere, it's not really produce anywhere to be honest. I guess maybe we'll just see how we go. Maybe like Kiel, New Berlin, for starters. We probably don't actually need a caboose on these trains because they're going to be very reliable. So that's Kiel, New Berlin. And then... Maybe Rostock, Schwerin. Rostock, Schwerin, Kiel might actually be quite good.
and then Hamburg. Hamburg, New Berlin. Okay, we'll set up Rostock, Schwer, and Kiel. And then do we want to go Kiel back to Rostock, or do we want to go... Yeah, I guess we'll put that in a car on the train. Because from Kiel... I guess we can go to, maybe... Viritzi Hund. I guess we'll just do a train from Kiel to Viritzi Hund, maybe? Instinctively going for the loose when I don't actually want it. Okay, that's actually reasonably profitable. Cheese, cheese, fertilizer, mail, milk. Yeah. So I don't think we're going to be hugely profitable, and I'm aware that we don't actually have any uh, places to service. So we've got Kiel to New Berlin. Um, so we'll put a service tower just there. Then we've got Rostock to Schwerin to Kiel. And then back to Rostock. Should be okay. And then we've got Verisi Hund to Kiel. So we're not using New Berlin and we're not using Hamburg. Oh, we are using New Berlin, sorry. Kiel. Yeah, we're not using Hundvorkerin or Hamburg. But we should still be alright. These trains have decent stats, they're just not great for passengers, but not too important. Okay, so New Berlin to Kiel. That's going to need a maintenance facility there. Rostock, Schwerin and Kiel. So that's going to need maintenance and service. And then Wurzi Hund to Kiel. That should be fine. Um, and yeah, so we're not using Hamburg. Maybe just do like Hamburg to New Berlin or something. What about on Vokeren? On Verkeren doesn't really have anything. Vida Gatragen actually looks like it might have some stuff. So if we make a decent profit, we might be able to take out a bond and then connect over to Vida Gatragen. Also, we might actually get a stock split, which will help. So obviously, the objective is, you know, connect Dutch Lantis up to Munich. And you might be thinking, well, you're not really doing that at the moment, but... You've just kind of got to get set up initially and, you know, connect up with cities. We don't actually have very long. We only have 26 years. We've only got until 2051. Um, so we do kind of need to get a move on, but I think if you play your cards right, you can actually make good profit in this scenario. I'm also aware that we're not using electrics right now, but we will use electrics later on. I probably don't actually need a dining car on these trains, to be honest. So, stock split two for one, that's very good. Investors pleased with us, they increased salary to 14000 We made $652,000 last year. That probably won't be the same this year because the markets will equalise and there won't be as much cargo to deliver and blah blah blah. Um, it's actually looking like Hanover and Dor Al have recycling plants and they could make quite a bit of money. So we'll issue some stock and take out some bombs. Hanover Dor Al. Although I still think maybe Hand the Crab and Vida Gutrag. Maybe at least Vida Gutrag and might be quite profitable. Um, is there any demand for chemicals anywhere? 
Yes, there is in birds the hunt because they make fertilizer. So it could be worthwhile to connect over to Lou Lou Profondimal for chemicals. And also, there's actually a uh, dairy farm over there. Yes. So, chemicals, we can ship them to Versi uh, Hund. And we can ship cheese over for a profit and milk. So, I don't think we're going to have a problem when the uh, bonus cheese comes up. We'll start in uh, Lou Profondamon. Yeah, that's a lot of chemicals and then some produce. And then um, we could take out another bond if we need to. Dor Al and Hanover, we can connect over them. Over to them. And yeah, remember I said that the map is fairly flat. Well, you know, there's barely any gradients at all on this track, and I'm not really paying attention to gradient, so, you know, the map is fairly flat, which does help. Uh, we are going to need another bond for this. So, door R. Can I take out another two bonds, maybe? Yes, I can. Okay, I'll do that. And then we can get to Hanover. So you can see already, we've actually got a fairly extensive network. Um, the map is quite big, but obviously a lot of it is sea, so a lot of these cities aren't actually that far apart. And we do start with a decent amount of cash. And the trains are fast, so they don't exactly take very long to get to places. Uh, we can't build on connected track, I'm aware of that. Now Hanover, Hanover's a bit of a gradient around here, but only really if we actually wanted to build over this way, which we don't really, so we can actually connect the city of Hanover and have like basically no gradient. Hanover has steel, milk, if there's cheese in Schwerin, which there is, we can ship that, yeah, Schwerin Fair into Hanover would be good. Some steel for profit. Um, yeah, so we'll do Schwer into Hanover. Then we'll start in Hanover. That's not actually all that profitable. Um, they've already got maintenance and service over there. And then Dor Al. has goods we can ship for a profit basically anywhere. Milk in uh, maybe Rostock. Yeah, passengers, mail, Rostock. So we'll do Dor Al to Rostock. Okay. Milk, goods, and obviously, because it's post 1950, the um, wagons and you know loads that you deliver are supposedly they're 80 tons, um, so they're as big as they're going to get. They're not going to get any once you get past 1950, they don't get any bigger. So really. Um, the locomotives that are using in 1950 might struggle, whereas these modern locomotives, they don't struggle at all with these big boxcars. You see there, it's like the train's still doing, you know, 60 miles an hour, it's no problem. We've already issued stock, I'm taking out bonds, yeah. So, I still haven't used a train in Ondvorkerin. There are a lot of mail and passengers. Lou Profondemont and um, Dor Al and New Berlin. 
maybe. Door Isle, not really. Uh, Lou Profondamon. No. What about uh, Vertsy Hund? Mm, again, no. And then New Berlin, maybe? I think I should do a, yeah, maybe a short train just between New Berlin and Vertsy Hund. I don't know, honestly, because other than just like a couple of passengers, not really a lot going on. New Berlin to Rostock, if I don't already have that, that could be quite profitable, because we've got keels in New Berlin. So we'll do New Berlin to Rostock. Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed by one Booker in it. Doesn't really have much going on, unfortunately. Just a lot of mail and some passengers, but they're not actually very profitable to deliver. And I also don't really know where I want to deliver them to and from, if not New Berlin. And I also thought, hmm, I guess we deliver the waste to Hanover. There's actually not a great deal of waste end off, although it was cheap waste over in Vida Gatrag. So we are making a small profit, it's just not huge. So Vida Gatragan. Ah, now Vida de Gatragan has a lot of passengers. They're actually fairly profitable, and we can deliver them to Onvokeren. Because there's people in Onvokeren that want to go to Vida Gatraga. Although, again, it's not terribly profitable. Um, some mail, maybe. Clothes, but not terribly profitable. There is apparently wool in Hamburg and Lou Profondemont. Oh, sorry, that's... Yeah, that is Hamburg. So we could do Hamburg to Vida Gatragen, and we could even do um, Vida Gatragen to Hanover as well. So when we get some cash, we can do both of those. Because that's the advantage, is these things are only 200,000 each. So we'll do Vida Gatragen to Hanover. I am going to probably need some maintenance and service stations here and there, because yeah, we've got a train to run out of oil. Take out a bond. Uh, which train was it that was run out of oil? It must have only temporarily run out of oil. And then, um, ooh, we've got a train there not delivering anything. New mill into Rostock. And I put a caboose on that, stupid. But it's also not delivering anything. I put a caboose on that one as well. Stupid. I keep forgetting to not put a caboose on. So, Vida Gutargan to Hanover. And. Could do New Berlin to Vida Gatragen. Hamburg to New Berlin, maybe? Oh, Hamburg has quite a bit of waste that we could deliver over to uh, Dort Island. Uh, Dor Al has cheese that we can deliver to Vida Gatraga. Yeah. Hmm. 
Wissenbüll and Leipzig are actually quite big cities, and Dresden. These places might have some cargo that can deliver it and start making some profits. Check out more bonds. Can't issue the stock yet. Wissenbüll and Leipzig, Dresden. Ah, Dresden. Dresden had a recycling plant. Uh, so that could be worthwhile. Prusish Dreiheck has a uh, dairy processor with cheap cheese, interestingly enough. And milk is, milk is expensive everywhere though, I suppose. Wissenbohl hat ein dairy processor with cheap cheese. So we could actually go Wissenbohl Leipzig from Dual, or connect over to Dresden, or even Prusische Den Drei, Prusische Dreieck. It's a relatively flat track, although getting to Leipzig maybe not so easy. I reckon that'll be okay though. Leipzig will need a large station. Ooh, okay. Yeah, there's actually not a great deal of cargo. Ah. Ah, okay, so we could do Wissenbold to New Berlin, maybe. It's actually not terribly profitable. So there's not a huge amount of cargo flying around. But we could do... Wurzi Hund to Leipzig, maybe. Wissenbold, maybe. To somewhere. I'd be surprised that there's just not a lot of cargo you can really deliver anywhere. This involved to New Berlin, maybe. I guess we'll do Leipzig to Wurzi Hund. Ah, here we go. Um, recent tech advances have presented to you with an opportunity. You can either improve the overall reliability of your locomotives by two grades, or you can reduce your station loading times by 30%. I mean, locomotives are already fairly reliable. Maybe decrease the station loading times? <coughs> Excuse me. I'd say the locomotive is already fairly reliable. I mean, yeah, because like you look and it's like reliability near perfect, good, outstanding, good, above average, you know, very good. Yeah, the locomotives we're going to be using are already pretty reliable, so I reckon just increase the station load, or de improve the station loading times. Um, if I can take out a bond, which I can't... I was going to say, I think Prus should drive maybe for the cheap cheese. Could well be worthwhile to connect to. Ah, 
probably just about got enough money. Yeah. Well, I'll still need the station, obviously. Ah, boom time! That'll help. Check out a bond. And, yes, we can make a fortune delivering cheese to Vida Gotragen. Also passengers, mail, um, clothing is in Vida Gotragen. Yeah, so okay, Vida Gotragen to Prusish Dreiher should make a ton of cash. Well, maybe not a ton, but it should make a fair amount of money. And we will need a medicines and service. In fact, yeah, I've been really skimpy on the medicines and service because we've only got two medicines and two services. Oh, I don't want a um, caboose. We can put a dining car on the train. It's not actually all that much of a difference, to be honest. Yes, I'm going to need um, service towers here and there. I don't know exactly where I want them, but I'll just put some around here and there. Fortunately, these trains have, you know, good fuel economy, so it's not terribly important. And then next stop for connection will probably be Dresden. Uh, we can't issue stock. We can take out a bond, and I might have enough to connect to Dresden. Bit of a gradient. I mean, the locomotive, the diesel that I've been using, is actually, you know, pretty good on gradients, but the less gradient we have, the better. Might be better. This is where building an unconnected track would help. Might be better to come round over here. Still a bit of a gradient, but it's not too bad. And we're not going to need to build it over there anyway, so. Now, that needs to be a large station. And yeah, the gradient's fine over there, I reckon. It doesn't really cover much of the station, but. or much of the city, but I kind of would want the station to be more like that. Eh. Uh, it should be okay. Okay, he says. I'll load the auto save because I'm not actually terribly happy with that. Oh, now I've got to reconnect over to Prusius Diehek. No big deal. Right. Station loading times. Issue stock. Okay, so I've got to reconnect over to Crucius Dry Heck. No big deal. And rebuild some uh, service towers here and there. And again, I don't really know where I want them, but. Oh! Okay, I've actually lost a lot, because I haven't even connected to... Oh, who? Oh. Yeah, I really shouldn't have loaded that auto save. I've got to connect all the way over to Leipzig as well. This is why you should save more frequently. And normally I do, but... Oh well. Um, I'll get the train... from... Krusish Dreihek to... Uh... Vida Katragen going. Right, so now I've got to reanalyze all this and consider where do I want the Wissenbull and Leipzig trains to go to and from. That's uh, frustrating. Right, we do have boom times, so that's good. I don't know if I actually got those in the boom, so I might be able to get them for slightly cheaper, but. Doesn't matter too much. So Yep, 
Yeah, we'll connect over to Dresden as well. That's pretty flat. I think that's actually flatter than I had it before. Yeah, it's slightly better station, actually. Okay, so... Dresden... Where's the place with, like, the most waste? Maybe Vida Gutragen. So Vida Gutragen to Dresden could be quite good. Actually, we can deliver steel. Wow, that is very expensive in uh, Untvorkaren. Untvorkaren still has not been used at all. Maybe I really should just get a train going from Untvorkaren to Vidagatragen. Or maybe like Untvorkaren to... Door Arl actually could be quite good. Um, right, so Dresden to Ontvorkerin, maybe. Oh, right, no. Nice. I don't know. <laughs> That's a simple answer. One of these cities where I can deliver... Yeah, maybe Dresden to Schwerin. Yeah. I'm gonna stick a dining car on that train. So, Prusius Dryheck, we did build a train there. Iron Mine has appeared for the first time near Munich, so it's interesting that it's taken until 2027 before we thought, hey, maybe we need iron again. Um, makes you kind of wonder how we're getting steel, but... I suppose we're getting steel from recycling plants, actually. Maybe. Yeah. Huh. So we don't need steel mills, we just create steel from recycling plants. Interesting. Um, so I didn't build a train coming out of Leipzig. I think previously I did variously fun to Leipzig. And then Wissenbohl. Or Wissenbohl. Maybe to Ontvorkeren, actually. Because Ontvorkeren apparently has some chemicals. Yeah, and I can deliver some cheese for a good... and... Um, fertilizer. So, this involves Ontvorkeren. So finally, Ontvorkeren gets train service. No, not for those. Might be an idea to double up some track here and there, like maybe around Schwerin, where it's very congested. Um, and at Leipzig, we didn't get a train. Um, New Berlin, maybe. Yeah, New Berlin has clothes we can ship over to Leipzig. And cheese and produce. So we'll do New Berlin to Leipzig. 
which is actually quite a long way because it's got to go all this way when really it should just kind of, you know, loop like that. But hey ho, that's just how we've built it. Can't usually stop. Share prices just keep going up and up and up, which is good. Probably won't get a stock split at 92. No, we didn't. So I don't know when the bonus for uh, delivering cheese comes in. Uh, as for new cities to connect to, we do want to connect over to Erfurt with the intention of then connecting into Trinkvassa eventually. New Frankfurt maybe, but it's a bit surrounded by hills. Not going to be the easiest city to connect to. Wurtegebote, which is uh, fun to say, if I'm saying it wrong. Um, Hemmelweg hat ein fertilizer factory. Uh, and textile mill. I don't know... Yeah, these, these clothes are kind of being produced from very limited supplies of wool, to be honest. There's not a great deal of wool, but there's actually quite a fair amount of clothing. Apparently there's like 80 loads of wool, but I suppose it's just because it's so spread out. And then, um... So, Lou performed them on to Hemmelweg, but that should be good. As could Lou perform them on to Veritzi Hund, if we're not already doing that. Although, actually, it's not all that profitable, to be quite honest. Lou performed them on to Wissenbol would actually probably be better. Which, I don't know if I'm doing that already or not. Doesn't look like... Oh, Lou performed them on to Versi Fund. Yes, I'm doing that. But I was talking about Lou performed them on to... Listen board. And I am not doing that. So I'll do that. Uh, Lou performed them on to Listen board. Mid kind of caboose. Dutchlandian cheese, better than bad. It's good. So good, in fact, that the Dutchlandian International Trade Committee has offered you an incentive to ship cheese. Every year you ship five or more loads of Dutchlandian cheese from our borders, you'll receive a $300,000 bonus. More cheese, please. Um, I think you can deliver it anywhere. I don't think you have to deliver it from Dutchlandian to another country, but... So, essentially... Apparently I've delivered two two loads already this year. So essentially that's probably gonna be a three hundred thousand dollar a year every year, pretty much. Um and also I'm gonna need a maintenance facility here. So I got bonds, issue stock, and I think we'll connect over to Earth first and then shrink Vassa. Which is half a million. Should have enough. Drink Vessel apparently has a fair amount of cargo because it's got. It actually has some tyres? Don't really know how we're getting tyres if maybe not from a recycling plant. No. How are we getting tyres? Oh! Lokov hat. Lokov in. Germania has a warehouse that supplies tyres and cotton. So, connecting to Lokov eventually could be very profitable because it also demands cheese. I mean, not that we're going to do it, but how much would a Dresden Lokov suspension bridge cost? Hypothetically. Or even like a tunnel of some kind? About six million for the world's most ridiculous tunnel. Um, I do love that about Railroad Tycoon, that you can build absolutely insane uh, tunnels and bridges. That the physics of the game is just like, yeah, that's fine. I see no problem with that.
bit of a slope there, but it's not too bad. Hopefully we've got enough to connect to Trink Vassar. Uh, the gradient might be a bit bad. it to drink faster. So we've connected Dutch Lancis up with Germania. Ooh. Ha! And uh come to a bit of a stumbling block there. Because I don't want the big gradient like that, but I also don't want a big bridge. So it's a bit bumpy round there. Don't really know what I can do to alleviate that. Because if I just simply build over the bumpy bit, that does work, but we get a bit of a gradient there and there. Yeah, I guess that works. And then we can just carry on out that way. Um, so, we unfortunately don't have any money anymore. Um, but we'll build a station in Trinkvassa first. And unfortunately I can't really connect the whole city with one station. So we'll do something like that. Gradient is fine. So Trinkvassa has cars. Which is interesting. And chemicals. Cars are $34 in a lot of places. Milk. Yeah, so we want to do Trinkvassa to Wissenbuhl, where we can deliver chemicals, cars, milk. Tires we can't really do anything with. We can deliver them to Untvoka and, and Brustock. And milk. So yeah, drink wasser to this board will be very good. As for the other way, we can deliver cheese for a decent profit. And that's probably about it. So there you go, milk, chemicals, milk, cars, passengers, and waste, for decent profit. And I was going to say that when we get some cash, we'll connect up to Erfurt. And then Erfurt, uh, we can deliver clothes over to Trinkvassa, and some passengers, some mail. Not really much else though, to be honest. We can deliver clothes to Leipzig and some passengers. Leipzig, we can deliver some stuff, so Urfa to Leipzig, but that should be quite good. Very short train, but we'll do that. Yes, yeah, so actually, year after year, we are making good profits. Granted, we're in an economic boom, but and then I think honestly, just carry on going. You know, 
Sherwitz, Slokovia, Lokov if we can get to it, and then, you know, eventually we'll get up to Munich. And then that'll be, uh, that's bronze. Silver is going to be harder, because obviously we've got to get up to uh, Camelot. But I think if we can get silver, we can get gold, because... Silver you have to connect to Camelot, which itself is difficult. And then gold, all you've got to do for gold is uh, deliver 10 loads of uranium from Britain to Dutch Lantis. And um, there's a lot of uranium, which is free. And there's a fair demand for uranium in Dutch Lantis, and you haul it for a huge profit. So the sooner you can do that, the better, obviously. Not just for gold, but for profit as well. Um, trains are running out of oil. Wissenbull on Volkeren. I don't see why that's running out of oil. It does have maintenance facilities. But we'll build another one here. And here. And then this one from Lou Profondemont to Wissenbull. Yeah, fair enough, that actually had no maintenance facilities. So we will probably have a stock split, which is great. Annoyingly, we already have 7.5 million in bonds, so we can't take out too many more bonds. Ah, there you go. You've hauled 23 loads of Dutch Lantis brand cheese. Thank you for your hard work. We at Dutch Lantis brand cheese are happy to present you with this check for $300,000. Remember, cheese is your friend! So we should probably do that every year without really trying, and then that's just an extra 300,000, uh, which will help us. So obviously, you know, deliver cheese. Right, we probably have enough money to at least connect to Chervitz and Slokovia. Probably not Vegon Vassar as well, because that suspension bridge is going to be expensive. Uh, Chervitz and Slokovia might have a fair bit of cargo lying around. Also, it would cost just about two and a half million to upgrade all this to electric. So, yes, we aren't using electric right now, but that's not to say that we won't be in the future. Uh, I don't really want the suspension bridge there, because it would be like an extra million. But that's actually quite a nice bridge that I've managed to get away with. And it's an iron bridge as well, so that's nice. So, Chervitz has been connected to, Slokovia is going to be more difficult, but we'll build a station in Chervitz, like, that does cover all the city, I was kind of hoping to build it more over here, but, that covers the entire city, and then from Chervitz, we can deliver steel to Trinkvasa, um, waste is demanded in Chervitz because there's a big recycling plant that generates the steel. Could it actually connect up to Dor Al? Because it'd be the same price for steel as in Trinkvasa. Although passengers want to go. Hmm. What about Hamburg or Lou Profondemont? Not really. Where is there a great deal of waste? Not really anywhere. Because it gets collected by the recycling plants. But I mean, we could do Chervitz to Trinkvasa. decent money hauling steel, and hopefully I've got enough to connect it to Slovakia. Not to be confused with the Bay of Slovakia. Slovakia? 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 Um, confusing this map with the made-up geography.
And then, I don't know how much it would cost to build a suspension bridge, but... Right, so we would need about 3 million-ish to get to Lokov. Unfortunately, the gradient coming in up, up and out of the uh, suspension bridge is going to be pretty severe. The other alternative is that I build over this way. Build a station here. Kind of want it more like over there. Oh, hang on. That works. It doesn't matter that this house is basically like through the ground. Um, the game's just like, yeah, that's fine. Now, I don't have enough money to do this, but were I to build a suspension bridge over here, might be slightly cheaper. Still get fairly bad gradient, that's the only issue. But that might actually end up being slightly cheaper. So, waste, we can deliver waste from Slokovia to Chervitz. Pultwood is demanded in a fair few places like New Berlin, Kiel. Um, milk we can deliver to a fair amount of places. Cheese. Is there cheese in Kiel? There is. We can deliver it to Slokovia. And, yeah, okay, so Kiel, Slokovia. Yes, it's a long old way, but that should be really profitable. We'll start in Slokovia. I think we'll do another one from Kiel to Slokovia. Just simply because it's so far that we can have A to B and B to A. Can't take out any bombs. Can issue stock, though. Well, that doesn't really do a lot. Because we don't really have much money anyway. Um, and we'll do a short train from Chervis to Slokovia. Starting in Slokovia. That'll be alright, I reckon. So, in terms of next destinations... Take out another bond, one more bond, which I've just done. Might be an idea to refinance some of these bonds actually, because we are in an economic boom. I'm going to save the game as well. So save it as Dutch Lantis 2. Get rid of this 13 percenter. Oh, we can't actually take out a bond. That's weird. I was hoping to just refinance it, not pay it off completely. We're actually not making much money this year, right now. Also, this train's run out of oil. Effort to Leipzig. Yeah, it doesn't have any oil. Um. Not making any money. Okay, a big train just came in there. Ah. Yeah, I need I need quite a bit of cash to be able to refinance these bonds. For some reason I'm just not making any money this year. Don't know why. Get another 300,000 for delivering the uh, cheese. No, these trains just aren't all that profitable. Oh well. Right, get rid of the 12%. 
In actual fact, is it really worth it? Because I'm replacing these 12% with like 10%. So no, I'm actually going to reload. Uh, it was Dutch Lancers 2. So it's not, really, it's not really worth refinancing them, then, in that case. But I do need a basic facility here. So we've got 10 million in bonds. Can't issue the stock right now. And, yeah... Don't know why we're not making the cash. I mean, yes, we've got a lot of bonds, and yes, they're pretty expensive bonds, but we should still be making cash. Oh, Slokovia Chervis is actually not delivering anything. Well, that's a bit annoying. Yeah. Drink Vassal Vissen. Hmm. So these trains just aren't delivering anything. That's annoying. So they're just going back and forth, delivering nothing. Don't exactly need a dining car on that train either. Dressed in Schwerin? Wasn't delivering anything, but it is now, so... No, that was a really terrible year. I don't really know what happened there. Because it's not like I really did anything differently. Just didn't make any money. It's possible that 500,000 went as an expense because I had to buy access into Germania, but even then I would have actually still only made, you know, just slightly over half a million in profit, so... I don't know. But we are still in economic... we're still in economic boom. Uh, I think connecting to Lokov could be very good, though. Because, uh... Tires are demanded in Chervitz. There's a big demand for cheese. So we could do, like, variously fun... or just anywhere with cheese. Really. Like Schwerin. Schwerin has a ton of cheese. Schwerin's got a lot of cargo. Also, Vertsy Hund now actually has some cargo. Oh god, this isn't Vertsy Hund, it's um, on Volkeren. So I could do like on Volkeren to Vertsy Hund. Which does actually have maintenance and service already. Right, so do that. I think I already issued stock, but when I get enough money, I'll connect over to uh, Lokov, hopefully. Still going to be... Mm, yeah, still going to be pretty expensive. It's also possible this isn't the cheapest way of doing it, but... I think I issued stock already this year, annoyingly. And I can't take out any more bonds. Still not making all that much money, to be honest. I mean, the 300,000 a year for cheese will help a lot, but... The company itself isn't all that profitable. Which is surprising, really. Interestingly, Chervitz to Leipzig would be very profitable for hauling cheese. Chervitz itself doesn't actually have a great deal of cargo. What about Trinkwasser? Uh, Dresden. Does Dresden have, uh, steel? A bit. Erfurt and Kiel, maybe? Yeah, not really much. What about Erfurt? 
If I drink faster, some clothes, maybe I can deliver them. Economic boom fading, not surprised because I don't seem to be making so much money. No, I'm a bit struggling for cash at the moment. Can't take out any more bonds either. I can't issue stock. At least we don't have to worry about cheese. Now I could really do with some bombs. I mean, my credit rating is a B, but that's useless. <laughs> Once I connect to Lokov, I'm not even sure where I actually want to get a train from. Like, Lokov to where, exactly. I didn't even need a suspension bridge. Huh. Well, that works. I mean, it's a lot, a lot cheaper. And the gradient isn't too bad either. Okay, I don't want a bridge there. the entire city. So, Lokov. Wow! Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, Lokov is actually my secret weapon. My goodness. Okay. So, Lokov to Trinkvassa, Chervitz, Lakovia. That's going to make a ton of profit. Just when I was thinking, like, oh yeah, all hope is lost. I'm just not making any money. Um, Lokov Trinkvassa. Making one and a half million delivering tyres. That is insane. That's just the tyres. Like, I could genuinely do another tr full train. Another, another, many full trains. Is there actually anything in Trinkvassa that we can deliver over to local? Maybe some alcohol, some produce. Not really, but that is absolutely insane. I mean, the prices will probably equalise, and it won't make that much money for that longer time. But that is insane. I'm going to save the game. And the fact that I haven't managed to build, is, that I've managed to avoid building a single suspension bridge as well, thus far, is crazy. Um, we will definitely need a suspension bridge to get to Vegum Vasa. I imagine. I don't think there's any way you can get away with not building a suspension bridge. Gradient, yeah, the gradient won't be great, but hey ho. That's the great thing about this train, is that uh, the gradient it is actually good on gradients. Right, well that's our uh, problem solved, pretty much. Yep, like one and a half million there. I couldn't even make this train high priority to be honest. Because then I won't have to wait for other trains to get out of the way. I like how it's right at the edge of the map as well. Right, so Lokov is 
insane. Because the price of tyres and steel is so cheap. And wool is so, so cheap that the profit is just ridiculous. Now, I could actually do another train from Lokov to Chervitz, which I think I will do. And yes, yeah, like 1.4 million just delivering tyres and then some steel as well. And that'll be high priority as well. Right, well, uh, this scenario suddenly got a lot easier. Yeah, they're happy with us now. Crazy. Right, we might have enough to get to Vegumbasa. I'm going to save the game. Uh, Dutch Lancers 2. I suppose I can go away with a regular bridge. What about a stone bridge? No. I th For some reason in my head, wooden bridges... You can't make a really long wooden bridge. Whereas like stone bridges and iron bridges, I don't think they have... Um, length limits, so I think you can make really long stone and iron bridges, but not really long wooden bridges. But that might not be true. Might not be correct. I've got enough money, but it's just kind of how do I want to do it. I guess that works. So Veggon Vassa, I don't know how important it's going to be, but uh, we've connected to Veggon Vassa. Oh wow, very cheap steel that we can deliver to Twink Vassa and some passengers. Actually, some passengers in Chervis want to go to Veggon Vassa. Um, and then we can connect up to Munich as well. And then, you know, from Munich, if we've got enough money, we can even go to like Memmingen, Brigands, and connect up with all these cities. But for now, if nothing else, Build this truck a bit annoyingly, really. I kind of want the station more like over here, just south of where that meat plant is. Yeah, I want the station to be more like over here. That's better. There we go. Munich to Dutch Lantis, a railway first. Celebrations begin as Dutch Lantis National Railway connects both by railway. January 19th, 2032. And yet the newspaper is still only 50 cents. Right, so... Munich Steel to Trinkvassa. Passengers, Trinkvassa, maybe Chervitz. Meats, Trinkvassa, Chervitz. Lou Profondemont would be very profitable to haul the steel, but it's also a very long way. I think honestly just do Munich to Trinkvassa and then Veggumvassa to Trinkvassa. 
So we mean it to drink Vasa. That's profitable. And then we'll do the gum Vasa to drink Vasa. Well, I did have enough money. I don't need more, apparently. Also, out of interest, how would Lokov to Munich be? Not all that good, to be honest. The amount of cargo in Lokov has uh, gone down, although we did just load up to go from Lokov to Trinkvasa. But yeah, we'll do um, Vikumvasa, Trinkvasa. Yeah. The economy's slowing to normal, that's fine. Business and service is right there, so that's no big problem. It's all sorted. Right, so if nothing else, we've already done the cheese goal. If nothing, again, if nothing else, we've got bronze because we've connected Dutch Lantis to Munich. Um, for silver, we need to connect over to Camelot. That's not going to be easy. Uh, and then for gold, we need to haul 10 loads of uranium. Uh, so I'll save the game again. Dutch Lantis 2. But we're a very profitable company now. Uh, Lokov is just insane. And there's probably also other markets here and there available that make an absolute fortune. Waste is very expensive in Munich because there's a big recycling plant. I suppose waste doesn't really pile up. I mean, it piles up, I suppose, in uh, Hanover. Right, so we probably want to start working on connecting over these cities. Um, if we want to get over to uh, Camelot eventually. Because to get to Camelot isn't actually that easy. Um, you'll notice obviously there's, you know, a giant cliff face. Handily, the game does provide a staircase north of Hemmelweg. And it's a nice gentle slope up to the top of the cliff. Where you then, you know, still have to kind of build track and then build a suspension bridge all the way over to Camelot. I think all that costs probably about 10 million, but I really don't know. Um, but we could connect over to Hemmelweg. Again, we don't want the suspension bridge. And uh, Groningen, even, as well. So Hemmelweg has cheese. Unfortunately, can't really deliver it anywhere nearby for a profit. Uh, Hemmelweg itself... We could do Hemmelweg to maybe like Doral. Hanover. to be honest. But I guess we'll just do simple train Hemmelweg to Dortal. Yeah, it might make a bit of money. I never did connect over to Handicrab. Where is it over there? There's a textile mill. What's in Pirat Pirat Start year? Mm. Plastics factory, meat plant. There's only 12 loads of livestock in the entire map. And they're all basically based around Dor Al. 
Oh, and um, Miming and... So there's only 10 loads of meat, so yeah, there's not really... There's a lot of meat plants, but there's just not a lot of livestock, so meat isn't really a... a market in this map, which is interesting. Maybe everybody's turned vegetarian in the future. Uh, right, next over to Groningen and Ornum Nordmals. No, actually, Arnhem, Arnhem did need to be a large station. And then Arnhem, we can do Arnhem to maybe like Hamburg. Oh, Wissenborn. Arnhem, Wissenborn could be quite good. Yeah, we'll do Arnhem. Arnhem Nordmals to this boy. And uh, Groningen needs a station. So Groningen. Running an Arnhem might not be too bad. Or we do... Oh, cheap clothes over in... Uh, Ontwerkeren. That might end up needing to be a last station. So we'll do Ontwerkeren to Groningen. Wait. Oh, why are there two stations there? What? Did I build it wrong? Oh, yeah, okay. I didn't realise I'd already built the station, so... Right, so this is Groningen. Right, I didn't realise I'd already built a medium station. So Groningen and Vokeren. It's not all that profitable, but hey how. Recession ahead, that's not good. But at least now we're making a fortune. Um, whether that's just entirely down to Lokov or not, I'm not too sure. But Lokov... Lokov is just insane. And I love it. Um, saying that, there's not actually a great deal of cargo over in Lokov. Anymore. But... Uh, you know, it's still great. Right, try and connect up with some of these cities. Smirig... Smirig Valvis? Valfis? Yeah, I mean, if these places are real, or if they're just like funny jokes by the creators, I don't know. There could be, like, real places that have slightly new names, like, you know, New Berlin, New London. Or they could just be completely made up. Uh, right. I'm not really sure where I want to go from here. Hanover has some steel we can ship over for a profit. Maybe. We've got a lot of passengers and mail, so I'm just wondering if it might be worthwhile to build some hotels, but I don't think we're actually really delivering a lot of them, and they're not all that profitable. With here, I'm not really sure what I want to do with this place.
the French tells me to delivering a whole lot of cheese. It's possible that I might actually be able to connect every city on the map if I make, you know, big enough profit. Because there's not a lot of cities on the map, and they are fairly, you know, simple to get to. There's none that are kind of massively out of the way. Maybe Basel, Zurich, some of these cities might be a bit hard to get to. New London might be a bit difficult, because that will require a suspension bridge. Unfortunately, I can't just build from Oxford round to New London. But I should be able to get most of the cities. This is assuming that I can get gold. Which, you know, is still not guaranteed. I just noticed that Immersterdam has three dairy processors. They really like cheese. And yet there isn't actually a great deal of it. Um, wow, okay. Waste is very cheap in Immersterdam for some reason. Uh, we can do Immersterdam to Dor Al. So we'll do that. And then... I still don't really know what to do with Schmerig Valvis. Maybe Hanover Schmerig Valvis? Because I think there was some... Waste of steel, I could do with it. Meh. I guess it doesn't matter too much. A, we're in a recession, and B, we're still actually quite profitable. Oh, we've actually had depression, even. Fantastic. So we might not actually make much money um, anymore whilst we're in a depression. Oh, we've actually had the first train crash. Dressed into Schwerin. I can't replace it, I don't have any money. If and when I can issue stock, I will replace it. So, dressed into Schwerin. Uh, right, well, where are those? That's Dresden. That's Schwerin. So, Dresden, Schwerin. I don't know how profitable it was, so I'm just saying we'll replace it. How is it for maintenance and for service? I mean, there's one there, there's another one there. So it might actually be worthwhile to build a maintenance and service here. Because then it can be used by Virtue Hund, New Berlin train, if such a thing exists. There's a lot of cargo, but I feel like it's just not being delivered. Yeah, there's loads of cargo, but... Yeah, it just doesn't feel like we're actually delivering all that much. And, you know, I'm aware we're in an economic depression, but... Yeah, I don't know, it's, it's a weird one. We can deliver cars to New Berlin from Lokov. That's about it, really, for a profit. So we'll do New Berlin to Lokov. Passengers don't really. Mm, don't really much in the way of passengers. What's, in, what's actually in New Berlin that we could deliver? Some cheese, but it's barely profitable. Some clothes. I suppose, yeah, we are in depression, so that won't help. Right, Lokov, New Berlin. That's an extremely long way. It should be alright. We'll give it high priority. Yeah. Apparently we made zero last year. 
Yeah, we made exactly nothing. Although, that's still classified as red. I think it does actually work out that we made minus 1,000. But, rounding to the nearest thousand dollars, it works out as zero. Apparently. Yeah, so... Nothing is guaranteed, because obviously we need to get out of this economic depression. Um, we've still got quite a bit of time left. We've still got, you know, 17 odd years left. But hopefully we could do with getting out of the economic depression and back into the uh, economic boom. Because right now we're really struggling for profit. <laughs> I thought these cities might have a bit more than they do, to be quite honest. I suppose they're not they're not huge, but there's also just not a lot really going on. Actually, have enough to connect to Dusseldorf because track is cheap now that we're in a economic depression. That's one advantage of depre economic depression track becomes cheap. I don't know like how much cheaper, I just know it becomes cheaper. Unfortunately, not anything else really becomes cheaper, so track trains and stations are still the same price. Um, Right, Dusseldorf to Hanover. Maybe worthwhile. If and when I can get some money. I really need a uh, end to this depression because uh, we're just not making any money. I'm also aware that the way that I've built this network is probably suboptimal because uh, cities that are fairly close together are still, you know, they still kind of take quite a while to get to. 37 loads of cheese. Unfortunately, you get nothing for four or fewer loads, 300,000 for five or more, but you don't get any more for delivering 37 than you would do six. But considering I'm not trying, I'm not like, you know, I'm not specifically going for cheese, I'm just delivering cheese naturally. It is nice to just get 300,000 per year for free for just delivering cheese. You know, no strings attached or anything. Right, Dusseldorf, did I build a train? Oh, Dusseldorf Hanover, yeah, I built a train. Is real good. Has a recycling plant, so it could be could be something worthwhile. Has some steel. Can ship over to Lou Profondemont. Lou Profondemont. Oh, Vida Gutragen has a lot of waste we could ship over. And, uh... Eh. Not really much else. Steel in Lou Profondemont. So we'll do Lou We'll do Lou Prof... Le, I don't know how to pronounce this. We'll do Le Profondemont to East Rogwood. I spoke good. New performance. Yeah, I really hope the economy gets... It, even a recession, because I think recession you can make quite a bit more money than you can in a depression. Depression is just like, you don't make money. <laughs>
Also, I just noticed uh, Altcorn, which is uh, old, old clone. Oh, New Berlin to Leipzig has crashed. That's not good. Also, New Berlin to Leipzig is actually quite a long old way. So, yeah, but there are there are plenty of uh, maintenance and service stations. We are actually making a bit of money this year, so. Hopefully the economy does actually fix itself and we go back into a recession. Which is saying something. The economy fixes itself we go into a recession. Yeah. We get out of the depression, I know what I mean. Uh, let's connect over to z -board. Bit, Bit of a longer way round, but... And then maybe even get to Brussels. Interesting that it's just Brussels and not like New Brussels. So Brussels doesn't really have a lot. Although we can do Brussels to Arnhem with some alcohol. Uh, Sie Boden get away with just a medium station. Zeebordum to Hemelweg, maybe. Because Hemelweg has clothes we can ship over to Zeebordum. Uh, I don't have any money right now. But, uh... Yeah, Seabodum Hemelweg. That's yeah, anything. I think I wanted to ship over to Arnhem, maybe, but oh well. We've actually made a profit this year, which is good. 47 loads of cheese! Yeah, they're still pleased with us. We made 677,000 in profit. So, we've got 15 years left. We've used 11 years. Things aren't actually looking that good, to be honest, because... Unless I get out of this economic depression, I'm never going to make it to Camelot. We really do need an economic boom. Because these cities just aren't really profitable. There's just not any cargo lying around. So it might actually be more prudent to maybe connect over to like Memingo. Prudent might not be the right idea, but it might be more it might be um smarter to connect over to Memingo. trying to say. So, Mimingen. We can ship steel over to Trinkwasser. The very cheap steel in Lokov. Well, there's not really any of it. Clothes we can... Yeah, okay, so once again, Lokov kind of saves the day. And Lokov to Memingen could be worthwhile. Although Memmingen to uh, Trinkvasa, I think, is also worthwhile. So we can do both. We'll do Memmingen Trinkvasa. And we'll do Lokov to Memmingen. Oh, I still go to uh, Luke Fondamon. Where's Icefogel? Icefogel's over there, so yeah, we're gonna need Mason's service like over here. Brussels to Arnhem as well. And then Zeebordum to Hemelberg. Yeah, it's the same problem. Okay.
I just want this economic depression to end, seriously. Oh, there you go. As soon as I say it. Go into an economic recession. Which, you know, it's not great, but... Better than the economic depression. Issuing a stock. Forty two loads of cheese. So at some point, I do want to just basically save up a load of cash. Like, I'm going to need about 10 million to get to uh, Camelot. And then, once we connect to Camelot, then that is silver. And then I've got to deliver 10 loads of uranium, and then that's the gold. Oh. Memmingen to Lokov. Ah, yeah, okay. I was going to say it's run out of sand and oil. So, yeah, we should make bit more profit now that we're in a recession, as opposed to an economic depression. There are a lot of passengers in uh, low cost, so we could actually even do like low cost to Leipzig. I don't want to double up any of my track. How back to traffic? Honestly, not that bad. Maybe like round Schwerin, but it's actually not that bad. And we are making a lot of cash at the moment. I mean, you know, not an absolute fortune, but we're making a lot more than we were. We should have stock. Buy some shares. And yeah, if we can get to, like, economic boom again, I think we'll be fine. I don't know how many more cities I really want to connect to besides, um, you know, like, Camelot. I probably want to connect to, you know, other cities as well. There's so much cargo lying around. Is this... It's not just... Oh, it's uranium and oil. Cars, clothes and grain we can ship from... So basically, once we get to Britain, we'll just make a fortune, it seems. Why there's so much uranium in Britain, I have no idea. Seems like you're going to have a 5% gradient whether you like it or not, really. So no way to avoid 5% gradient. I mean, I'll take a 5% gradient, but I'm just kind of 